What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Castro's Kicks once again. Appreciate y'all for stopping in and checking out the channel as always. So, it is halftime of the Texas Tech and Oklahoma basketball game. So, I was like, let me record real quick uh, before halftime is over. So, I am making this video. I do have another early review for y'all. So, that is what this video will be about. I think this may be the last early review I have coming for a little bit. But, things are, have picked up significantly. So, it won't be long before I have another early review coming. But, Today for y'all, I have the Air Jordan 11 Cement Gray, or I'm sorry, Air Jordan 11 White Cement. Look, I had to check to make sure I said it right, but the White Cement Air Jordan 11 Lows, uh, these are set to come out April 1st for $190. So we're going to talk about this one today. So we're going to start off with the box. So you do have the Jordan 11 box, but on this one you have a black lid with the white Jordan Jumpman logo, and then you have uh, Jordan written out in that blue, that is a university blue on the top. So going to the rest of the box, you do have gray all around the bottom of the shoe. Or a shoe box, I'm sorry. But that wraps all the way around there. Of course, you do see like the University Blue Nike logo there as well. So going to the label. The label reads Air Jordan 11 Retro Low. Uh, the colorway is white, University Blue. This is a size 13 in men's. And like I mentioned, resale price is $190. Release date is April 1st. And when it comes to sizing on these, usually I go true to size on Air Jordan 11 Lows. I don't typically go up up or down on Jordans I typically stick with my normal size unless it's just an interesting circumstance with the shoe but true to size with these now going to the inside of the box white on the inside so nothing crazy there uh, and then going to the other portion that is on the bottom you do have the YDM sticker on the in the box as well and then just white all around there is a, another sticker in there as well but I think that goes in the shoe, but I'm not 100% sure. All right, now going to the paper. So a little bit different with the paper with these. So you do have almost like this. It reminds me of the carbon fiber that you get on the bottom of uh, the Jordan 11s. So that is what's on the paper or that carbon fiber pattern that's on there. Uh, so that's what's on the paper there. Uh, now let's go ahead first. I do want to give a quick shout out to my guys, Perfect Fit Kicks and Kamikaze Kicks on Instagram. If you need early pairs, if you need a group that gets early pairs to join, uh, hit them up on Instagram. They will get you situated with whatever you need, but go check them out. Give them a follow uh, and just keep up with them for whenever they have early pairs. Now, let's go ahead and jump into this Air Jordan 11 Low White Cement. So, let's give you all a quick 360 of this. And in my opinion, not a bad shoe. Is it a must cop for me? Not necessarily, but this is a... In my opinion, a good summer shoe. Um, it's a, it's simple colors, nothing too crazy, but you know, it's just it's 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 like I, I if I can get it for retail, I get it. If not, I'm not gonna be tripping that I missed out on this release. Uh, now, starting off with the outsole. So as you do see, you have a couple different colors on the outsole. You have white, that gray. You have the translucent university blue on the bottom there. Do you have the white Jordan gentleman in the middle of the shoe? And you do also have that carbon fiber print or not print, but carbon fiber right here and it does have that same print that is on the paper that I showed y'all a little while ago you do have the black uh, almost like boxes on there as well or circles whatever they are now moving up to the midsole there it is an all-white midsole of course you do see parts of the outsole coming up that translucent outsole coming up um, onto the midsole which is normal so you do see it on the top of the toe box there as well and then just wrapping around the shoe you do see the carbon fiber footprint or plate coming up right there on the side a little bit and then just continuing around now going to the upper so this upper is made up of two different materials you have a patent leather and then you also have a mesh and then nylon laces but yeah so the upper we'll start with the uh, mud guard so you do have that patent leather mud guard in that gray colorway and it does wrap all the way around and it just continues on um i do like the color gray that they did with this one uh, i think the patent leather looks it, it goes well with the patent leather um like I mentioned, it's, it's a simple, simple toned down gray, nothing too crazy. So it makes it easy to wear with a lot of different things. Uh, now going to the upper, like I mentioned, it is mesh. Now you do have that white mesh and that does go all the way around the upper, partially on the toe box right here, and then just continuing around back to this side. And then you do have some leather on this back portion of the ankle and that wraps back around to there. Now going to the back of the shoe, so on the ankle you do have the two three for the for Jordan's number and then you have that University Blue Jordan gentleman on the back of the shoe as well 
Now moving to the laces, these do come with the white nylon laces. And I believe these are the only color laces that do come with this shoe. Yeah, it looks like these are the only color, which in my opinion, white looks good in these. I know like guys like Jay, Jay the Sneaker guy like to swap out laces with these. So I'd be curious to see like a lace swap with these and how they will look. But white for what is in here right now. And then you also have the white tongue as well with the Jordan logo in that on that gray tag in the University Blue colorway. But you do have the white tongue as well. Now I believe that is everything on the outside of the shoe. So we're going to go to the inside. We'll start off with the shoe tree. So you do have a paper shoe tree with these. Nothing too crazy. And then going to the insole, University Blue insole, white Jordan Jumpman logo. And you do have the size sticker on there as well. And then on the back side, it is white. All right, and then continuing on, you do have a gray sock liner with these. And that gray sock liner does go all the way around. So you do see it all the way around there. Now going to the tag, the production date on here is August 3rd, 2022 to uh, September 22nd, 2022. So mid to late last year uh, when these were produced. Now, that is everything with the Air Jordan 11 White Cement. I'm going to show you all the other shoe as well. No major differences in the two, but I will give you all that quick 360 just so y'all can see what both look like. But let me know how y'all feel about these. Is this a must cop for you? Is it a pass? What are your thoughts on this Air Jordan 11 White Cement, Air Jordan 11 Low White Cement? Like I mentioned, for me, not a must cop, but if it's a shoe I can get my hands on for retail or under retail or just in that little area, I would potentially grab it. Um, I have like the Air Jordan 11 snakeskin lows. I wear them. I do like how they look on feet. And honestly, the colors are almost similar because that snakeskin 11 low is the gray one. So it does have like gray around the mudguard. So um, a similar shoe. So yeah, I could consider grabbing these. But... I'm not going to break the bench trying to get them or anything like that. So let me know what y'all think about them. Muscat Pass, what are your thoughts on this Air Jordan 11 low? Now let's go ahead and jump to a quick daily lace-up and just a couple of different things. Uh, the big thing that happened today, and it, today is the 21st, so y'all have seen this video on the 22nd. Uh, but we did get a Jordan Reserve today. Now, I know when you hear Jordan Reserve, you're like, oh, there's going to be a bunch of shoes on the Reserve. No, not, not this time. There were only two shoes on this Jordan Reserve. It was the Air Jordan 11 Cherry and the Air Jordan 11 Midnight Navy. So just two pairs of 11s that were on the Reserve. Still waiting on these Lost and Founds like everybody else. I don't know. But if you ended up copying anything on the Jordan Reserve, let me know in the comments. I don't need any more Cherries or Midnight, 11, Na Midnight Navy 11s. So I just I left it alone. I was like, I'm not buying anything else right now uh, that I don't need. Uh, now, considering on to a couple updates from Z Sneakerhead. So first, we got to look at the uh, an Air Jordan 6 coming out. This is the Air Jordan 6 Gore-Tex. And the colorway is inspired by the ACG Nike Air Moab. Uh, I will put up a picture so y'all can see what that. Well, actually, there's one in the screenshot that y'all can see. Um, different colorway. One I have to see in person. I'm, I'm not 100% sure if I actually like it. Um, but I will just have to see it whenever the official shoe uh, does drop in and uh, see how the colorway looks on this Air Jordan 6. Right now, I'm iffy. I'm iffy on it. Not going to lie to y'all. Uh, but we will see. Uh, and then considering on, uh, we uh, official images were loaded of the Air Jordan 11 white cement, which I believe is set to come out Air Jordan 3 white cement. Uh, that is the reimagined 3 that I did do a review on. I will link that above. That is set to come out, I believe, March 11th. And... It's, it's looking like that shoe may be a problem. A lot of people seem interested in this Air Jordan 3, myself included. I've seen people talk about double up and triple ups. I, I'm going to try to double up on this pair. We're going to see. But, yeah, th that shoe, I, I think it could be a problem. It's just, we just got to wait and see what, what ends up happening um, with this shoe. Um, and then continuing on, this one's from Soul Links. And this is a look at the Air Jordan 2 uh, Low UNC to Chicago that is set to come out. Um, it's a very simple too. It is a women's exclusive Jordan 2. So we got white, red, and then that university blue. Nothing too crazy with this one. Um, now I'll probably end up passing on it. But yeah, not a bad shoe at all. Um, and then the last update that we got, um, also the uh, Tiffany Air Force One lows are loaded up on the sneakers app as well for the hefty price of $400. I don't know if I'm going to try to cop them. I'm not even lying to y'all. Like 400 is so steep for an Air Force One, in my opinion. I just like I like I tell y'all I'm not going to do it, and then I'm probably going to try to do it just so I can make a review over the shoe. But 
it's just gonna be one of those wait and see if I end up copying them or not because yeah I, I don't know they come out March 7th so we got a couple days before I have to make my official decision but uh, we're gonna wait and see and then last but not least I saw also on the sneakers app these women's Jordan Hex meal looks like a slide or something like that they're $65 are y'all gonna go for these um I don't I don't know what Jordan's doing I'm not 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 a fan of these but you know, everybody's trying to get into the slide game, so I understand it. But let me know if y'all are going to be going for these. Um, And then last but not least, uh, we did start getting raffle dubs or raffle. Like, if you won the A Mama Near 12 raffle, A Mama, a Mama Near Jordan 12 raffle. Those emails started going out today. I haven't gotten one yet, so I don't know if I took a dub or not. Hopefully, it just comes late. We're going to wait and see. Um, but if you did take a dub on that raffle, congratulations. There's still going to be other opportunities. We do have the general release, which is the 24th, I believe. So in just a couple days, uh, if you're still interested in that shoe, I, I need a pair. So I will be trying to grab a pair. Um, it'll just be a wait and see whenever that happens. But that is everything I have for this video. Once again, let me know how you feel about the Air Jordan 11 Low. It's a must cop pass. Just kind of give me your opinion on what you're thinking. But as always, I do appreciate y'all for stopping and going to subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button, turn on the notification bell so you can stay today when I post new content. As always, hopefully y'all enjoy the rest of y'all week. Stay safe and stay blessed. And I'll catch y'all in the next video.